What's going on everybody? JP here from Wander to Get Lost and in today's video I'm going to be replacing the front calipers on our RV. So stick around, let's tackle this project together. It could be this simple forever everybody so today's project as I said is um, replacing the front calipers on our RV uh, the reason why I'm doing this is back in June I re redid all our brake lines on our ABS brake control and the two front brake calipers the bleeding nipple um, rusted and snapped off and I couldn't bleed the front calipers and the front ones are just taking a beating they're completely rusted with pitting on them so uh, for like 200 bucks uh, 400 in total. I got two new calipers plus I think I get like 80 bucks back once I return the cores of the ones that I pull off. Uh, these things are huge. It's the whole caliper right here. It also came with a uh, new brake pad so I'm going to put those in. You just have to drain the brake fluid, pull off the old caliper, put the new pads in here and then pop it back on and put the wheel back on. So wheels already off I got it all set up so let's go ahead over there and uh, we're gonna get this project moving because it's starting to rain and I don't think I have much time left all right there we go all right everybody we're over here at the uh, front driver's tire here is the caliber um, so we got to take this off here's the brake line here this is a 14 mil bolt so we're gonna take that uh, the good thing is I already did the passenger side uh, so this is just going to be popping this off. There shouldn't be much fluid coming out of here, but I've got my drain bucket right there that I can catch anything coming out. Uh, there's two big bolts. One up here. And then right here, just got to pop these off. And then we can pull this whole assembly out. Alright, let's take this off and drain our line. Shouldn't be much fluid coming out. There should just probably be some residual. So, not too much. Just make sure you save both washers. You don't lose those guys. All right, the two bolts are 24 mil. I just pop those off. it is here so the one thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna take a uh, take the core out um, and just uh, keep these brake pads as spares right there and then I'm gonna send the whole unit back for uh, my rebate hopefully it, it can be uh, reserviced I guess and I'll get uh, my core charge back all right so here's our new one uh, we are gonna have to take um, the part with the piston out just because we need to get our metal clips on and then put our new brake pads so we're going to start that these are 16 mil bolts right here um, so i do have a wrench for that all right here we go all right, so these are the two metal clips i'm just gonna take these bolts out So 
now we got this guy right here. Now we're going to put our clips. Like so. So the big clip right here. And then you have this other clip. And that's just going to pop on back here. Like so. Then you're going to, we're going to load our pads. So now we got our pads in there. And now we gotta put this back together. Right. Yeah, and I'm using blue Loctite on these bolts. And then once you get them Tighten down, you're going to torque them to spec. Right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some brake caliper grease on the contact points uh, just to reduce any noise. vibrations so that way stay nice and quiet just keep it on the back here and then I'm also going to put some in the tracks just put a little bit of grease in there that way uh, caliper slides nice and smooth back and forth or the brake pad sorry slides nice and smooth and then what I'll do is I'll uh, just slide it Move the grease back and forth, and that one's done. I'll take the back one, or the one that's on the side of the piston, slide that over, and then I'll put some grease on the back there where it meets the piston. Like so. going to put some grease in the track in the metal clip All right. most important thing is I'm trying doing to trying to avoid getting any grease on the pad all right so just gonna slide that to the back all right there we go that's now our pre or reassembled complete brake caliper with our new pads in it so now we're just gonna screw this back on I'm gonna put some blue Loctite on these bolts again on the big bolts. It's actually not that big of a process to get this done. I think the hardest part is getting the wheels off. All right, I'm gonna get this on. Caliber. Now we just got to pop our brake line back on, and then we are done for that. Not so bad. I'm just gonna put our brake line back on. Most important thing is uh, make sure the grooves on your washer uh, match up. Yeah, put this back on. I learned that the hard way when I redid the brakes back in June. 
like I said, we got a nice looking caliper now. And a nice, nice looking bleeder valve. So, much better. Okay, snug there. All right, now we're just gonna get the wheel back on. This is the worst part of the whole job, getting the tire back on, because these things are heavy. Woo. All right, I'm not gonna bore you, but uh, I'm just gonna zip this on. Uh, I'm gonna torque these to 150 foot-pounds, and then we're done. All right, everybody, that is it for the install of the brake calibers. Driver side went a lot faster. Passenger side, I had a little hiccup uh, because of uh, issue with the brake line on the new caliper but otherwise yeah super easy install um, I think the driver's side took me 30 minutes maybe uh, yeah so I got the caliper calipers from brakeperformance.com um, yeah so each set was 217.53 okay no tax free shipping and then uh, I get the core charge refunded once I send these back. Um, I am going to probably send them some pictures of what the these calipers look like and make sure it's worth me sending them back to them just because if they're going to tell me that they're not going to that there's too much rust on them I'm not going to send them back and spend like probably 20 bucks a box to send them back to get nothing. So I'll figure that out and I'll let you know down in the comments eventually what happens but this is their core guideline here so looking at that I think I'm alright but I'm still just going to make sure all right so that was it for the install if you like the install hit the thumbs up don't forget to uh subscribe and follow along on our awesome rv adventure and um i didn't show breeding bleeding the whole brake system i'm gonna do that on another video because i have a cool device that you can bleed the system with one person you don't have to press on the brake pedal or anything like that so that's gonna follow this video because i'm gonna do that tomorrow uh I'm going to take a little break. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Stay lost.